toast and bread. Carrie Jackson decided to hold off vaccinating her infant daughter. After talking to parents and doing research, I came to the conclusion that a two-month-old baby is not ready for these vaccines. A new study tracks what happens when parents make that decision. Two years ago in San Diego, a seven-year-old whose parents refused to vaccinate him for measles returned from a trip abroad with the virus. That one child exposed more than 800 people and 11 got sick. People that choose not to vaccinate their children make a decision for their child, uh, but they also make a decision for, for their community. There have been similar measles outbreaks in Indiana, Illinois, and Washington State. The trend not to vaccinate is growing after reports vaccines were linked to autism. Those reports were proven false, but in California in 2008, 10,000 kindergartners started school without all their shots. Doctors say parents who refuse to vaccinate their children may be relying on what's called herd immunity for protection. That's when enough people are vaccinated in a community to protect even the weakest person from disease. The counting on the fact that even though they're opting out of this process, that everybody else around them will be immunized. Okay, boo boo. New York mom Ramona Peralta says she won't take that risk with her son, Derek. I know that I'm taking care of his health. By getting him vaccinated, she's caring for more than just her son. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles.